Good evening, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Defense Expo 2022. And we are in the city of Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi Nagar. And wonderful to have with us at the end of the day, Mr. Rajesh R., who is the Vice President of Defense for Ashok Leyland. You know, we are coming to an event like this, when we talk about uh, in Gandhi city non-violence and then we are here at an event which is promoting arms, equipment, everything. So it's a, it's a wonderful merger of the past with the present. And uh, sir, welcome to ADU's chat room. Great to have you here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And sir, how has it been? It's been the first time Gujarat is holding one. For us a changed venue, I'm sure for you also. So how has the day been? What has the footfall been here like, sir? Yeah, being the first day, I think, uh, thank you, Sangeeta, for asking this question. Let me first answer the first part. Uh, being in Gandhinagar, promoting a defense vertical, I think uh, that's a conglomerate of uh, talking not only about the non-violence, but about uh, being self-reliant in what we call as Atmanagar Bharat, in terms of uh, making sure that India is going to be self-reliant, we're not going to be depend on the foreign forces to develop any equipment or didn't supply anything across to India. And uh, I think this is a good uh, merger between uh, having it in Gandhinagar and also talking about defense business. Coming to the second part of it, uh, it's been a wonderful day. We uh, had the opportunity to launch the, the light GS vehicle, which is a Jeep 4 x 4 And this is predominantly going to be supporting the Ashok Lands portfolio, which has been predominantly on the highest side of the spectrum, which is with the Stallion, Super Stallion, etc. And today we are launching the light uh, vehicles in our portfolio, which is the light bulletproof vehicle and also the light GS vehicle, which is the Jeep 4 4 I think uh, in terms of the footfall, being the first day, we had uh, a lot of uh, bureaucrats as well as the dignitaries coming in from Memory. And it's been a busy day for the business as well today. Right, sir. And so when we talk of Ashok Leyland, which is a very big name when it comes to, you know, manufacturing equipment, especially uh, land systems. So, uh, is it very, very focused on the army, like the world fa feels, and to the paramilitary, or you also have your clientele with the Navy and the Air Force, sir? Well, uh, you see, Ashokan has been a predominantly a supplier of mobility solutions. When I say mobility solutions, we started this journey about 30 plus years ago. We partnered with the VFJ on a technology arrangement, wherein we'll supply the kits to them and they'll assemble the stallion vehicles. And as we speak today, we have close to about 17,000 plus vehicles uh, in operation in India. And uh, it's, we're not stopping with the Stallion, we also moved across from the Super Stallion range. We're working across the, from a 4x4 platform to a 12x12. And this is not only ex uh, supplying to the, uh, the, the armed forces, we are already partnering with uh, the Navy, we're supplying the, the truck firefighting equipments, we are also uh, giving the light bulletproof vehicles which is on display here to so the Indian Air Force. In all the refuelers, for example, the fuel refuelers, the water bowsers, uh, the ambulances is being supplied across to all the, uh, I would say the three forces, plus the paramilitary as well. We are a very dominant player in terms of supplying the medium bulletproof vehicle, which is the armored version, uh, to the CRPF, the IDBF, IDPP, as well as onto the uh, Jammu and Kashmir police today. So our journey is, uh, has been a uh, very interesting in terms of our support across mm -hmm. not only the MOD but in the paramilitary into other uh, segments of the mobility solutions and we are moving across from being a heavy a dominant heavy vehicle uh, player into the light segment in this in this program. Right sir and sir we are at a show which is promoting Indian industry and which is promoting the MSMEs the tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. So uh, sir what is your supply chain? And uh, what is, I'm sure it has a very big uh, Indian component to it. So we'd like to know about how big is the Indian component in your supply chain and uh, how do you, uh, you know, have plan to improve the existing ecosystems? Well, uh, as Shokulan, we have been in the solutions of, uh, or mobility solutions, not only for the different space, but we have been a dominant player in the automotive business and uh, very, uh, wherein we supply across in the bus, the truck, as well as the, the light uh, segment vehicles. And in our supply chain, I would say uh, predominantly it's been with the, other than the major players who have been supplying the proprietary components, like for example the fuel system, tires, etc. 
rest of the all most of the supply chain is with the MSME side. In terms, if you talk about a percentage, I think close about 35 to 40 percent would be supported by the MSMEs. And the second part of uh, what I am responsible for, I am also the chairman of the Society of Indian Defence Manufacturers for Tamil Nadu as a region. And uh, through SIDM, we also promote a lot of uh, MSMEs programs, and uh, we've been talking to all the MSME members as well how they can contribute to the Indian industry or the Indian defence industry in a larger scale today. Right, sir. And uh, so when we speak of a supply chain in India, just for our information and to let our viewers know, do you also have a supply chain abroad? Uh, for our components, hmm. I think we are kind of reducing the supply chain for what we currently do. Predominantly, India is becoming a manufacturing base for the global companies. I think uh, most of our components are getting some subcomponents, like for example, India doesn't have a chip manufacturing today. So certain components are getting imported, but predominantly it's from the Indian supply chain. Right, sir. And sir, uh, you know, today like we are here, and uh, what is, uh, when it comes to promoting, I know that today's show is basically focused towards the Indian industries, but uh, what is the export market Ashok Leland has? Well, uh, uh, you know, as we speak uh, today, we have uh, three overseas manufacturing facilities uh, in South and as well as in Africa. So we have been a dominant player uh, in terms of a facility that we have currently. We are already supporting a lot of the public transports as well as the, uh, the mobility solutions for the automotive space. We are also expanding our range in the light segment. We are supplying our light commercial vehicles across and exports as well today. And uh, we are also leveraging our existing presence in the automotive space by promoting projects, project sales for defense as well, especially in Africa and in the SAC region. And uh, our international operations team is also expanding to other markets. And uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a natural migration for us being from the automotive space to move across in the defense and also expanding it overseas as well. Right, sir. And lastly, I'd like to ask you, sir, what do you expect out of this show uh, with the, the foreign, uh, you know, market very limited? What do you expect out of this show? Well, uh, this being the 75th year, and as we all celebrate the 75th year of India independence, and uh, the prime focus of the government has been about which means complete indigenization programs to happen in India. I think uh, rather than saying that it's not going to be only focusing on the Indian industry, we, we look forward ahead to have a lot of participation from the companies who are trying to set up shops in India. And this will become a big uh, opportunity for the Indian industry and also to make uh, employability of the, uh, the people as well here. We're putting a lot of investments coming into India. And this is going to happen in the different sector quite soon because of the drive of the government today. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank it was a pleasure you. speaking with you. And uh, hope to meet you again very soon. And th once we meet again, I'm sure we'll be able to know what has happened between this Absolutely. show and the next one. So thanks. Thanks a million, sir. It's great thanks to have you on the chat room.